All right, next question. Two questions in one here, mm -hmm. both very similar. Okay. Uh, and it could be a long answer. Should reviewers call the RTX 4080 12 gigabyte the 4070 instead? And also, is the 4080 12 gigabyte a 4070 really? Right, so, hang on a sec. <laughs> around the announcement, I want to get into this. Right, of, let's give it. Let's go, Tim. Around the announcement of RTX 40 series, this was obviously a big talking point. Was this 4080 12 gigabyte card, which is named terribly? Mm. Like it's a terribly named product. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't have the same name as the 4080. I covered that in the announcement. Mm -hmm. The question is, should it be named the 4070? Well, I assume Nvidia will be producing a 4070. Yes. So. Which that, doesn't change anything, but go doesn't on. Doesn't change anything, but, yep. you know, I think if you're talking about in reviews, should reviewers be renaming this product right. in reviews? Yeah, you can't do it, unfortunately. Not really feasible. That's more confusing. More confusing when yep. the 4070 comes out. Should it be named the 4070? It should be called the fake 4080. That's what yeah, we should it's call the it. 4080. the fake 4080. The fake 4080. Yeah, the fake 4080. <laughs> that's, that's better. Um, you know, with these naming things, I sort of go, I'm sort of in two minds about it. And I sort of talked to again about this in the announcement, was that it shouldn't be called a 4080, but it, it doesn't matter whether it's what it's called otherwise, as long as it's not misleading customers. I suppose what you're saying is when we compare Radeon GPUs, for some reason, there are some people that get really, really hung up on the fact that like uh, a 7 Series product from, you know, the Radeon category can't be compared against whatever the 8 type or 80 yeah. type category is from the other camp or vice versa. They have to be like, you know, the 6700 XT for some reason has to be compared to the 3070, no exception. And you can't... And it's the same across generations. People yeah. think well, the 3070 well. has to be compared to the 2070, that's which has right. to be compared to the 1070. Yeah. And the same thing here with this is that, oh, because it's called the 4080 12 gigabyte, it has to be compared to the mm. 3080, mm. which then has to be, which I don't agree with at all. You're allowing yourself to get manipulated by the marketing there. So we should either be focused on, if you're going to focus on one thing, performance or the price or ideally price to performance. Yeah. So with the naming thing, the reason why I get annoyed with names, and it's something that's happened across laptops a lot, mm -hmm. is... You need to make it that when you're searching for a product on Newegg or whatever website you want to buy from, mm -hmm. that it's obvious what product you're buying. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get misled into, oh, I've searched for the 4080 and there's this cheap one and there's this expensive one. Why buy the expensive one when there's the cheap one? I'll buy the cheap one. Oh, it turns out it performs way worse. That's mm -hmm. bad. You don't want that happening. Yeah. You don't want consumers being misled. And when you look at product listings on Newegg, you know, you can use the 3080 as an example because there's a 10 gigabyte and a 12 gigabyte version and there's the TI model as well. It, because of the lengths of the names that these companies use, so it'll be like, you know, it could be gigabyte, RTX, 3080, gaming, whatever, 10G, blah, 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 right? The, the stuff that they add at the end can often get hidden quite easily. So it needs to be very obvious when you're searching what product you're getting. Not so to mention the thing at the end doesn't mean anything other yeah. than memory capacity. Yeah, so, and again, that's an issue because the 12 gig card isn't just the 16 gig card with 12 gig of memory. It's the 16 gig card with a completely different GPU die. I was going to say, the die is a completely <laughs> different die. Yeah. So It's a 4070 die. So th that's where I have issues with these things that the ideal way for consumers to buy products is when the naming is very, very clear. Mm -hmm. And there's certainly no shortage of numbers that can be used to name these cards. It's not like they're going to be like, oh, well, we've got a 4090 and a 4080 and a 4070. <laughs> we've run out of numbers. They've done the best Oops. they could with the numbers available. Oops, no more numbers left. Yeah, it's yeah. like the previous generation didn't even go below 50. Mm -hmm. So they had the 4, 3, 2, and the 1, mm -hmm. and the 0 not even used. Mm -hmm. So it's like plenty of numbers, mm -hmm. plenty of numbers to fill out the lineup. What I don't care about is whether the card should be called a 4070 or a 4060 Ti or whatever. It's like, yeah, okay, in previous generations, yes, that the amount of transistors that are cut down would have put that into the 4070 or you know 4060 Ti tier. That's the tier the card would have been in previously. I'm not, I don't care too much about that because, again, what matters is price to performance. Yeah. Ideally, though, we would like them to remain consistent there because they're clearly trying to manipulate buyers yeah. by pl playing yes. funny buggers with those names. I feel like people with this are kind of like they're itching to criticize NVIDIA for the naming, right? So if, you know, 
there's kind of two ways they could have gone about it. They've got this product, which, you know, they want to sell for $900 US. Mm -hmm. So the two ways that they, you know, they've decided the one way, which is name it the same as another product or very similar to another product, move it up a tier in naming, Mm -hmm. or call it the previous gen name, but then the price is so much more expensive. Mm -hmm. So I think people are kind of like, They've got their gun there, ready to shoot NVIDIA, and they, their fingers on the trigger. And NVIDIA's and they're like, like, let's give you a bigger target. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, you know, they're waiting for that $900 70-tier car so they can shoot NVIDIA being like, oh, my God, you made that 500-tier Five hundred dollar card, nine hundred dollars now, mm-hmm. and they've just done a different thing, which people are criticizing for a different reason. Well, it's worse. I don't know if it's worse. Well, I, having two having two different dies with very different performance, with exactly the same name, with yeah. the only differentiating factor there being the memory yeah. capacity. Everything we've said, sure, but the simplest way to answer this question is absolutely horrific. I despise what they've done here. Don't like it at all, uh, but and would, okay. and would push back against it heavily. If I've got a, let's say, let's say hypothetically the forty eighty sixteen gigabyte doesn't exist, mm-hmm. and they've just launched the forty eighty twelve gig for nine hundred dollars, and people mm-hmm. have discovered that the die is very similar to what. Would yeah, I don't care about that because if, yeah, that doesn't matter. Right? No, because well, that, that matters when you start to compare it with the value of the previous generation or their competition. You're like, well, this is just a crap value product. It should have been yeah. this, that, or whatever. But that's a whole separate issue, and that just means that's a crap product because they didn't deliver enough performance at the price point they were trying to target. Yeah, so, I think the issue is not that it's not called the forty seventy because it should be based on the die, the 4070. It's that's that, completely irrelevant. That's to, irrelevant. Yeah, yeah. It's the fact that they named it the same as another GPU. Yeah. That's the problem. Because the joke people made was it's like, here's uh, the uh, NVIDIA GeForce 40 series lineup. You've got the 4080, 16 gigabyte, the 4080, 12 gigabyte, the 4080, 8 gigabyte, the yeah. 4080, 6 gigabyte, and the 40. Like, they might as well have just done that, really, and yeah. take it to extreme absurdity. So it's everything's a 4080, but... Also, there's only one 4080 and the rest are just much slower GPUs that are called a 4080 that have less memory. Anyway, the the whole thing's silly. I don't like it at all. Um, That's something I will continue to push back against because AMD, Intel, NVIDIA, no one should be doing that. Yeah, but again, like if it was a $900 RTX 4070, it doesn't, like it doesn't matter. But you know that people would have criticized that obviously. But I think... Yeah. It's... When you've got cards that are named, so we don't have naming the same, you always have to look at the price to performance ratio. And this was an issue with previous generations as well, because in the Ampere generation, they increased the price of the 3070. What the yeah. the, the 2070 was cheaper, wasn't mm-hmm. it? Four hundred dollars, I believe. Super. The super. The 2060 super was four hundred. The 2070 super was five hundred. Yeah, but the 2070 was. 500. Was it? Okay. Yep. Well, across the generations, they've raised pretty, prices pretty on... I'm pretty sure. My memory's a bit... But yeah, yeah I'm we can pretty, check that. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think... Yeah, I guess there's kind of like... There's two complaints rolled into one on this one. And one of the complaints is valid, and one of the complaints isn't valid, in my opinion. Look, I don't... Whether it should be called the 4070 or whatever, I, I'm i not arguing it should be called the 4070. It just shouldn't be called the 4080. It shouldn't be called the 4080. Right? Yeah. It, whether it's the... You know, whether the 16 gigabyte, if it was the 4080 Ti, whatever, 16 gigabyte, and then the other one was the 4080, it's like I'd have far less of an issue with that. Um, yeah. It'd still be a bit weird, but I'd have far less of an issue because it's like, do you have the 3080 Ti or, sorry, the 4080 Ti or do you have the 4080? Um, and people understand that naming is much more easy. Well, yeah, that's right. So not, not amazing, no, but it's, it's, it's not better. <laughs> it's, it's certainly a lot better. Uh, yeah. So anyway. Yes, yeah, so that's. That's that one. Annoying. Yeah. Very annoying. Yeah. I'm not happy about it. I've, I've already said yeah. it. Um, and yeah, I'll be, I'll be pushing back against that one. But what can you do? Well. But at least potentially if it gives you significantly more price to performance ratio than 3080 and the 40, 3070 type products, then. But that's the thing. Even if it's, even if it at the price, let's just say at the price, yeah. it was genuinely a good product. Like the, the 16 gigabyte model was genuinely very good. The 12 gigabyte model was genuinely very good. They both represented excellent price to performance compared to previous generations. So they were both excellent products. 
It's still garbage. It's still bad. But so, that 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 scenario that you're better. talking about only serves to shoot Nvidia in the foot. Yeah, yeah. Because if they're misleading customers into you know you've got these two products and the reviews of the 4080, there's rave reviews. Everyone's going that it's great. People are less if they're getting confused, they're less likely to buy the expensive model. Mm -hmm. So if Nvidia's got this great 4080 16 gigabyte card and everyone's just buying the cheap model, the cheaper model because it's cheaper and people are hearing about it being so good, then NVIDIA's missing out on the sales of the more expensive, probably higher margin product. Mm -hmm. Whereas generally what happens when you've got these two different products with the, the same name, the higher tier model, the expensive one, is kind of like the bad model. It offers like very little gain. An example of where NVIDIA has done this in the past, I suppose, most recently on the desktop, would it be like the GTX 1060 range? So you have the three gigabyte model and the yeah. 60 gigabyte model. Yeah. But And people made a big deal about that and we were wrapped with it. But I, from memory, in terms of price and performance, the three gigabyte model at the time wasn't too bad. It was only yeah. slightly cut down, half as much memory, but it was $50 cheaper. So I think you went from $200 to $250. So it was... It seemed to line up in terms of price performance, and it wasn't as egregious, let's say, as what I think we're facing here with the 4 Yeah, I think it's like what the 1050 DDR4 versus GDDR version back in the day. Mm -hmm. That mm -hmm. was a much more egregious case where I think it was like the lower, the cheaper model that was made was not that much cheaper, yep. but was significantly slower. And that's always the risk with these these naming situations is if the cheaper model is way worse yeah. and is much cheaper to produce so their their margins are better, then that's where you start running into those problems. And I think it's interesting that NVIDIA has a long history of regularly doing this sort of stuff. Yeah. But I suppose, interestingly, it's generally been for either lower-end products that were released later or they've quietly done it. So it's not yeah. been an official release. It's like, oh, here's the 3 gigabyte 1050 yeah. guys. Like... Whereas it's it's been done very subtle because they know what they're doing is very dodgy or anti-consumer. And then this time, they're just out there loud and proud doing it I at, think, at a key announcement. Yeah, if I'm sort of in NVIDIA shoes and I'm thinking, why have they done this? Because there's obviously so many reasons why you wouldn't do this that mm -hmm. we've explained mm -hmm. extensively answering this question. We're never going to finish I, this question, by the way. <laughs> well, maybe. But I, I think, you know, obviously someone at NVIDIA has decided that that particular model is going to have a $900 price point. I think that was probably decided first. Mm -hmm. So they go, we've got this GPU, we're selling it for $900. And then the marketing slash naming team or whatever is like, oh, oh, that card's $900, is it? Um, well, if we name it the 4070, we're going to have people say, well, it was $500 previously, now it's $900. People have a big whinge about that. But we've got the, we already have got the 4080, so oh, what do I do? And they've sort of, they've settled on this bad, uh, they, they kind of only had bad options and they kind of settled on one bad option versus other bad options. So yeah, I think they probably run into a few issues there. Not to excuse it, because obviously it's bad, mm. um, but you can sort of, I guess that is probably why they did it the way they did. But yeah, mm. let's end this question. Let's move on to another question.